Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the directive type checking. So directives are the very powerful tool that we should master to improve our Angular skills. TypeScript enforces the strict types and helps us make our code base more strict. Unfortunately, custom directives are not completely typed out of the box. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to add a strict typing to our structural directives and your Angular making your Angular base code base more strict. To support the type checking, we need two handy type guards uh, provided by the Angular. So that is one is ng template guard and another one is the ng template context guard. I will try to explain you the ng template context guard in the upcoming videos. First, we will try to learn about this ng template guard. So before understanding about this ng template guard, first of all, you need to understand about the TypeScript type predicate. What is that meaning is? So that means the TypeScript has to able to expect or predicate the type. What is the type of this data? So I will try to show you that one. So you, I will try to explain you in the upcoming video. If you need it, you, please let me know in the comment. If you want it means I will try to explain you. So now ng template guard. This guard, first of all in this video, we will try to learn about this ng template guard. So this guard is a bit more complex to understand a little bit. A structural directive controls how a template will be rendered at runtime. For example, let's say that ng for example, will add a template to the DOM only if the input condition is trusty. Then only it will add it. If the input of our custom directive has a complex type, so that means it's, if it is trusty means okay fine. If the input directive of our custom directive has a complex type and the directive will only render the template when a certain condition is met, we can narrow the rendered type with this card. So let's show this example to better understand this concept. So first of all what I will try to do it is, I will create a new directive that is nothing but is dog directive. I will try to show you. So here. I am creating a directive nggd is dog. That's it. So this is our dog directive. Let's try to create it. So it will take some time. So let it take. So here the dog directive has been created. Let's open this dog directive is dog directive. So just it's a simple example. So you try to understand this one. What I am trying to explain you. Let's say that we are having two types of interface. That is nothing but export. I will write the interface here only export interface cat. So cat means so you will be having a name of type string and I can tell that it's a type of dog sorry cat. So this is the thing which I can add it directly and here you will be having export interface um, dog okay uh, or otherwise we can say that uh, I can say type is equal to uh, cat something like this. So fine we can keep it like this and here I am having an export interface dog. And here also you will be having name of type string. Okay. And I will be having breed of type string. And let's say the type is equal to dog. It's a simple thing. So that means for this interface dog, we are having a breed. Extra is the breed. And now here I can write something like export type animal. Okay. So add so animal and it should be either a dog or a cat. These are the two things. So we are having two interfaces cat and dog and the animal is nothing but it either it could be a dog or a cat fine so let's try to invoke this one private template ref so you can have a template ref of type template ref sorry template ref of any and we'll be having another one is the private private view container view container and that should be view container ref okay so this is the thing so now i want to check that whether we are getting an input variable right so normally we will get an input variable let's assume that so that is nothing but app input for this one and here app is dog okay so i will try to take app is dog so whatever the variable we are having here so this is the thing and I will try to do the set sorry set I will try to write it as set the data that is nothing but animal of type animal so we will get this one as of type animal okay and now here we will be getting this app oh sorry I am right trying to write it in the constructor actually should not write it here at the bottom I am writing yeah so now animal of type animal I am taking so now let's say that if this animal so this one is this directive will try to check that whether you are sending an animal means it will tell you that whether it is a dog or not 
so that means if it is a dog or not means then we need to check that if it, the breed is available that property is available means then we can understand that this in this uh, data is a dog so we will write write a we will write 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 a assertion function here okay predicate function typescript predicate function export is dog okay so i will write a method something like function or otherwise you can write a yeah, function only export con, con constant is dog is equal to and here i will take the animal as animal so we you will get the input and here we need to mention that animal so is dog so here we are predicating that animal should be a dog type so this is the assertion function now here we need to return the true if you return the true means then we are telling that that animal is a true how can you tell that this one is a true okay how can you tell that this one is a true so we need to check that if anim if animal as dog okay as dog dot breed is not equal to undefined okay so if it is not undefined means then we can understand that it is a animal as dog dot breed is not equal to undefined so i will try to return this one that's it so now we will be able to see so if animal as dog dot breed is not equal to undefined means then we can assume that this animal whichever the input we are getting it it is a dog so now here let's go into this one so here i will write a condition in such a way that if is dog if it is a dog what is a dog so the data which i am trying to send it the animal okay if it is a dog means then i will try to render it u container dot create comp not create create embed view of this dot template ref that's it if it is not there means then i want to clear it off this dot view container dot clear that's the only thing which i want to write it that's it so now if you want to check the output for this one so let's say that here i will import this component so what is that component it is nothing but is dog directive let's assume that we are having one uh, variable okay animal of type uh, animal let's assume that we are having animal of type animal and this data name we are having that is nothing but a uh, dog name some dog name and we are having another one is breed okay so breed we are having that is nothing but some breed name we are having and the type also if you want to you can mention it that is nothing but dog okay so this is the animal we are having now it needs to check that so here i will try to write it due due star app is dog of animal data so i am trying to send it so render the dog or otherwise i will try to do animal json okay now if you try to hover here you will be able to see the type of the data is an animal but here we know that this app dot dog is an animal means so here compulsorily the data should be a dog only but here the template cannot able to understand that and it is showing that animal dot animal now here if you try to show it like this so here uh, the app is dog means so here the data which you are getting it compulsorily it will be a dog only if you try to show only the cat for example let's say that uh, here in our app component dot ts if i don't if i don't have a breed then we know that this animal is of type okay is of type cat so now we know that this animal is of type not an animal let's say it's a type of cat okay so here if you over it this animal is a type of cat now if you go to the app component dot html now if you try to see still it is showing animal of animal only but it is not displaying so that means template cannot able to understand so if it enters into this if condition means compulsorily the animal data it will be holding the type of value that is nothing but the dog type so how can we mention here so how can the template come, come to know this one is a cat or uh, this one is a dog data or not means so we need to introduce the template god for this one so how we can make this one is so now here try to understand it so here i am mentioning this one as dog so here compulsorily the type of this data is a dog we know that and here also if this condition becomes true means then if it is only a dog data only this condition will become true why because here i am trying to write in the condition that if it is a dog so dog i am trying to check that whether the breed property is available or not 
so that means compulsorily the breed property here it will be available if it is a cat means it will be not available so that means this animal data will hold compulsorily the dog type so how can this template is not able to recognize because the custom directive doesn't have a strict typing so here we can using the template guard we can mention this one so how can i mention this one is by using the static property here i can use something like ng template guard okay underscore so we need to keep app is dog so whatever the input variable we are having so that input variable you need to mention here ng template guard app underscore so this one will receive two arguments one is the directive instance that is nothing but the directive inst instance which you are trying to create it is dog directive and the another one is the the input what is the type of input you are having so there is nothing but expression or you can have whatever the variable state of type you are thinking that this 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 the data you are getting it as an animal okay so the data you are getting for this is an animal and now you need to return you need to mention that this state should be a dog okay that's it so now what i will try to do i, I will always return the true here okay so that means if the state is dog then only i always return the true so now you will be able to now you will be so these all condition and all those things here it will strictly we know that it will allow the con, con, the template will allow only when it is dog only so here state is dog so i am telling that whatever the animal data you are getting to this one then it should be compulsory a dog then here if you try to see if you hover here now the data has been changed to dog instead of to animal so that means we are narrowing the type so here the na we here the animal is either a dog or a cat so now we have na narrowed the type in such a way that now if you try to type any other data means you will not get so now we have narrowed the type to a dog so in this way ng template guard will be very much useful for us to implement the data so this is what ng template guard will be used in the custom directives in order to narrow the type for the template types in order to narrow the template types either you can use it in the component or in the directives so this is about the ng template card hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you